what's up it's gonna be a real quick update follow up on my uh, redneck door panel restoration video um basically i've just been uh redoing these door panels and if you remember from my previous video they were all just gray chalky kind of disgusting looking things well i've got most all of that scraped off now and now they look pretty good for the amount that i actually spent on it um i'm not completely done if you look over there on the other side um there's still some work to be done on certain places but it looks a lot better um i'm actually going to take you around to the other side now and uh show you the other door up close but uh yeah you can see on the hood of the car there a lot of dust and crap from when the snow came down on it and uh stayed there for a while i don't really plan on washing it piece of crap paint job anyway but uh, basically there it is I mean I'm going to come inside now and uh, see if I can get a, out of the wind here but basically that's all red now um, there's still certain areas like uh, down along here that need to be done because as you can see um, well first off one thing that I found is that these scrapers here work great for the very last step of uh, getting this junk off and it actually works pretty good from the very first step just scraping off the initial stuff so if you uh, watch right here you can see I'll show you in real time getting this down to red And yeah, in like five strokes there, uh, ha ha strokes, whatever. But uh, basically, you get down to the red right there, and then it's just a bunch of uh, fine scraping there to get it back down to the red. One thing that I have noticed is that it's really difficult to use these scrapers around cornered areas like this, and especially down here. That's all really difficult to get to, but patience and persistence uh, it will work um, I've also found sorry about the wind guys that in the areas that aren't completely destroyed like this you can't really do much with it so I figure it's best just to leave those there but yeah overall this is a uh, update on my redneck door panel restoration and what it actually ends up looking like once you get done with it I think it looks pretty good for the zero dollars that I spent on it compared to what I originally had and I think it's a really good way to make it look a little bit better on the cheap so uh see you guys in my next video like subscribe do what you got to do um thank you for all your views comments support uh see you next time